All right, all right. Shalom, shalom, Akim. First and foremost, we want to start by giving all praise and honor to our Heavenly Father, our power, whose name is Yahweh, Bahashem, in the name Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the, Hev the Son of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, Bahashem Rachaha Kodash, in the name of the Holy Spirit, or the Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone who do rule well, teach well. And peace and salutations to the Akim out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. To you all, I say shalom, shalom. And this, uh, you know, this uh, digital epistle is going to be in regards to, you know, the edification of the body, man. Comfort. You know, because, you know, we go through a lot of sh shit in this world. We deal with a lot of issues, man. And, and really, all we're, all we're looking forward to is rest, man. All we're looking forward to is the kingdom. Because at the end of the day, this world has nothing to offer us. Okay, this world is full of wickedness, deceit, okay, unrighteousness. Things are done opposite of what the Heavenly Father wants them to be done, man. So we're waiting on a kingdom that is filled with righteousness, okay? But I wanted to bring out the, the, the fact that the Heavenly Father, through his son Yahweh Shai, is preparing a place for his elect, man. He's, a prayer, he's preparing a place for those who truly and honestly love him, okay? And we know what love is. John 14, 15, I think it is love. To love the Lord is to keep his ways, to keep his commandments, okay? So let me see here. As a matter of fact, I'm already in the book of John. Yep. It says it right here. If you love me, keep my commandments. This is John 14 and 15, okay? And this is what we do, man. We, 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 week in and week out, we go out in the highways and the byways. We, we do the sit-downs because we want to help our people, <laughs> More so the elect, okay, to help build them up and prepare them and fortify them for the things that are about to come. Because the Bashmi Hawa Shai is going to set this place ablaze, all right? But we have comfort through the Spirit, man, through these scriptures. And I want to start with the book of John, chapter 14, verse 1. It says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in the Most High, believe also in me. Why? Because Yahweh Shai came in the stead of his father. When you read the scriptures, Yahweh Shai said that if you've seen me, then you have seen my father. Okay? If you've seen Yahweh Shai, and this is what I think he was telling Philip this. He said, if you've seen me, Philip, why are you asking me to see the father? If you've seen me, you've seen my father. Verse 2, it says, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And that's a comforting scripture, man. That's to know that Yahweh Shai goes to prepare a place for us. And pretty much his videos to show you that that place that he's preparing for us, all right, are is 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 are different worlds, man. Different universes, different galaxies, okay. Let me see here, I'm trying to get the uh, the definition of this word. Let me see if I can back out of here. House, okay. And when you look at that word house, it goes into um, residence. An abode, by implication, a family, a home. Okay? So Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to prepare a place for us to rest. A place for us to dwell. Okay? And that's going to come in, like I said, in the form of galaxies, the form of universes, the form of planets, man. Scripture says that what? Matter of fact, let's, let's, let's see if we can find it here. Okay, the scripture talks about the heaven being the, the, the heavens being the throne of the heavenly father. And if the heavens are the throne of the heavenly father, then what, what about everything else, man? Okay. What about everything else? This is uh, going to be the book of Isaiah. Chapter, matter of fact, I already got it pulled up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 1, it says, Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne right the heavens is the throne that's where the lord sits the lord sits in the heavens and what do you what will you usually put a throne you wouldn't put a throne outside you put it inside your house right so the heavens is the is the throne that's the abode this is where the house this is where the home of your how of your how is through your how and also your how shy okay and it says what the earth is my footstool where is the house that you built unto me? And where is the place of my rest? Right? Seeing that the heavens belong to Yahweh Shai. Okay? 
This is where he lives, and the earth is his footstool. This is where he comes and he, you know, he 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 rests. As a matter of fact, let's get that word footstool. Okay, in the, in the Hebrew, it's ragal, ragal. Okay, and when you get that definition, okay, it says uh, used in walking by implication, a step by euphemism mystically. Uh, the pudena be able to endure according as after coming, follow, broken foot, great toe, haunt, a journey, leg, piss, possession, time. Okay, let me see that word footstool. Matter of fact, we can back out of that real quick and get the definition straight up. A footstool, define footstool. A low stool for resting the feet on when sitting. So the, when the Heavenly Father is sitting on his throne in the heavens, he's resting his feet on earth. Okay? This is where he comes and he, and, 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 and he, and he deals with his men, his prophets. So now what about the rest of the universe? What about the rest of the galaxies? What's that? Isn't that a part of his home too? Because Yahweh Shai said it, man. Look. Matter of fact, let me go back over here. Okay, I think it's in the book. Let's see here. Look at John 14, right. John 14 and 1. Let's see here. Okay, going to the book of John, chapter 14. Right? This is Yahweh Shai speaking. It says, and this is what it says. It says, Yahweh Shai comforts his disciples. It says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And we know mansion is a form of a house, a form of a home, man. So within his Father's house are many mansions. Within the house of Yahweh Shai are many places to abode. Within the heavens there are many places for us to reside, man. Because the scripture talks about how he shall he shall turn one into a thousand. Let me see if I can find that. One man is going to become a whole nation. Let me see if I can find that. Hopefully it gives me what I'm looking for. No. So let's go to the KJVA. So he says he's going to do with it his time. I think it's in the book of Isaiah, but I just can't find it just yet. Okay, here it goes. It's Isaiah 16 and 22. That's through the Spirit. It says, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. And how is he going to do that? Through us, the, men, the elect men, you know, laying down with a lot of women, man. We're going to bring the nation of Israel back through our loins, man. But we're going to be so overpopulated. We're going to grow so fast. We're going to become, every man, every elect man is going to become his own nation. So we're going to need, you know, earth is not going to be able to hold all of us. It's going to get to a point in time where we're going to have to, you know, expand and go through different parts of the galaxy. Okay? Different parts of, of, of the universe, man. Yahweh Shai is actually preparing, this, you know, that place for his elect. Okay? So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, hey, look, he has a great blessing for the men who trust and believe in him. As a matter of fact... It says uh, in 1 Corinthians 2 and 9, it says, But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither entered into the heart or the mind of man, the things which the Most High hath prepared for them that love him. Right. And what is that thing that he's preparing for us? He's preparing, you know, planets for us. He's preparing a place for us to grow as a nation, for every individual elect man to grow as a nation, man. And that's going to be in the form of planets, universes, and galaxies once again. See, we have something to look forward to. 
Because when you read Michael 2 and 10, it says what? Arise ye and depart. Let's see if we can get that. Micah 2 and 10, it reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right. This place, Babylon, the earth, the way it is and the condition that it is, is not our rest. Because why? It is polluted. And what? because it's polluted, what is it going to do? It's going to destroy you even with the sore destruction. So we're not setting our minds here, man. We're not worried about what this place has to offer us because really we've already cut ourselves off from this world and we're setting our thoughts, our minds in the heavens, man. We're having immortal thoughts. We're not having thoughts of mortality. We don't think like these mortals do. At least that's, that's, the, that's the whole point. The whole point is for us to think as gods, man. So it says when we, shall, when we see him, we shall be as he is. Meaning what? If Yahweh Shai is a power, that means we're going to be a power too. We're going to be just like Yahweh Shai. Scripture says that we're going to do, he came healing, he came doing miracles. Scripture says that we're going to do greater things than he did. So look, if you're discouraged, if you don't have nothing on this side, that's fine, man. As long as you got a place to stay, you got your daily bread, the Lord's provided protection for you, okay? And you're, and you're in the scriptures, you're learning about, you're studying to show yourself approved. When that time comes, man, no matter what you sacrifice on this side, you how about me, how shy, say he's going to get back to you double fold, a hundred fold. You see, so there is comfort in these scriptures, man, to know that, look, on this side, even if we ain't, we winning, but according to the world, we're not winning. And that's fine because we have next, man. No other nation is going to come up after Esau, Edom, because when you read the book of second, Edward six and nine, it says that Esau, Edom is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. You see, is it nine and six, Salakia? Or is it six and nine? It's a lock it. My bad. Yeah, it says six and nine. Seven hundred six and nine for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. Esau is the end of the world. So what do we see going on now? Is the world thriving right now? Or, or, or is everybody, you know, at 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 un is there like an uneasy feeling? There's an uneasy feeling going on in the world, man. You can't really travel to other nations or other countries. Why? Because everybody's is in an uproar. We're on the brink of World War III. The economy's doing terrible. People are they don't have the funds or the finances that they that they that they want to have or they once had. Shit is tough. So how is Esau Eden winning? How is the ruler of the earth winning? And we know who's running the earth. It's a so-called white man. He's running this shit. Jake ain't running this shit. We don't have no resources, man. There's no place we can go to say, hey, look, I'm going to go mine me about mine about two pounds of gold so I can go ahead and go to do this. And no, nah, man, we don't have shit on this side. All we have is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's all we got. That's all we need. Because ultimately, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to set us up. He's going to return to us our original integrity, that first estate. Like Jude, that like the book of Jude says, the angels that left their first estate, that's us, man. For the wages of sin is death. We sinned against the Heavenly Father. And because we sinned, there entered death. But soon, real soon, the laws, statutes, and commandments are going to be written on our inward parts. There won't be any death. Just everlasting life, man. You see? So the wages of sin is death. But guess what? The gift of the Heavenly Father, man, is eternal life. And that's what we're set to inherit. Eternal life. Esau, Edom is going to pay for what he did to the children of Israel. And he knows it. And he's dreading that day. So he's speeding up whatever it is that he has to do before that time comes. And that's fine. We're prepared. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is fortifying us. He's giving us more faith, man. We should be praying more. Pray for more faith. Pray to endure these last days. Pray that the spirit of the Heavenly Father doesn't depart from you. And that he increases you. You see? But this is not, you know, this is, like I said, this is an exhortation to, to help boost up, you know, the morale, man. Okay? We are fighting for something greater than what we already have, man. And that's eternal life. That's the heavens, right? New earth, new bodies, everlasting life, rest. So with that, I want to say shalom. Okay? Shalom.